Hello and welcome to my channel Pharmacy in Depth where we will talk about pharmacy related topics in detail. Today we will go through a brief history of aspirin discovery, the world's first chemically synthesized drug. The fascinating history of aspirin dates back more than 3500 years ago during the Mesopotamian period. Here, the Assyrian and the Sumerian people were using willow bark as a painkiller in rheumatic pain. Then, in 1550, in Ibir Papyrus, which is an Egyptian medical text consisting of more than 800 medical recipes, reports the application of myrtle and willow leaf decoction for rheumatic and back pain. In 400 BC, Hippocrates, who is known as the father of modern medicine, is known to prescribe willow bark extract in fever, body pain and pain during childbirth. So with these some documented historical evidences, it is clear that people from long ago have been using willow bark and plants of same family in fever, pain and body aches. But, it was not known which active agent in these plants is able to cure their diseases. By 216 AD, with intensification of military and commercial marine contacts, the use of willow bark has spread throughout the western world, Europe and China as an analgesic, antipyretic and an anti-inflammatory agent. And by 18th century, doctors were prescribing willow bark and its related plants to treat rheumatic pain, wound, ulcers, headache and dysmenorrhea. In 1758, a scientist from Chipping Norton, England studied the healing properties of willow. He was looking for a cheaper remedy than cinnamon bark for treating the malaria fever. He administered the echoes extract of willow bark to 50 patients with fever and he discovered that the administration of this extract every 4 hour had a very significant effect in the pyretic action in treating the malarial fever. He presented his study to the Royal Society of London in 1763 and is now recognized as the first author to demonstrate the effectiveness of willow work in treating the malarial fever. Name of that scientist was Reverend Edward Stone. Now let's see the history of extraction of salicin which is the active component in the willow bark. In 1828, a German pharmacologist named Joseph Buchner extracted the active ingredient from willow producing a bitter tasting yellow colored crystals and called them salicylin. These are the chemical structures of salicin, salicylic acid and acetyl salicylic acid. In the following years, Research was directed towards the chemical synthesis of salicylic acid to obtain a purer, better tolerated and less expensive compound. The development of salicylates started in Bayer's laboratories which was founded in 1863 by Frederick Bayer and William Westcott and was initially specialized for production of dyes. In 1888, the company decided to establish a drug division headed by Carl Duisberg. They wanted to synthesize a derivative of salicylate that did not cause the adverse effects like nausea, gastric irritation and tinnitus which was commonly seen with sodium salicylate. Felix Hoffman, a pharmaceutical chemist on 10th August 1897 was able to acetylate the phenol group of salicylic acid by refluxing it with acetic anhydride and obtain acetyl salicylic acid which we call now as aspirin in its purest form which was a much simple, reliable and an efficient method. Hence this day is credited as the birthday of aspirin. On 1st Feb 1899, Bayer registered the trademark name in Berlin and aspirin was then patented in US in 1990. Initially marketed in powdered form, the drug was available in 1904 in tablet form also and was the first industrial drug available in tablet form worldwide. In the name Aspirin, A stands for Acetyl and Spur stands for Spiria Almira which is a botanical name of Meadowsweet, 
a source of salicylic acid. The mechanism of action of aspirin began to be investigated later in 20th century with the progress of pharmacological techniques. In 1969, John Wayne demonstrated that aspirin inhibits the synthesis of prostaglandins, which explains its anti-inflammatory activity. In 1975, Bank Samuelson found that aspirin inhibits thromboxane A2 synthesis and by this mechanism increases the bleeding time and platelet aggregation. Thromboxane A2 is a potent vasoconstrictor and stimulator of platelet aggregation. And Karl Bergstrom was the first to isolate, purify and identify the chemical structures of two prostaglandins. In year 1982, all these three scientists received the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology. Here is the mechanism of action of aspirin in simple language. So by acetylation, it inhibits the cyclooxygenase 1 enzyme and shows its antiplatelet effects, where it inhibits the clot formation which is required in case of cardiovascular diseases. And by salicylation, it inhibits the cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme and shows its anti-inflammatory, anti-proliferatory and antioxidative effect. But all these effects of aspirin are dose dependent in nature. At low dose of 60 to 160 mg per day, it is used as an antiplatelet agent. At 325 to 1000 mg per day, it shows its analgesic and antipyretic effect. With 325 mg to 6 grams a day, it is used as anti-inflammatory and intinitus. At 6 to 10 grams, it is used for respiratory alkalosis. At 10 to 20 grams per day, it is used in fever, dehydration and acidosis. And at a dose of more than 20 grams a day, it is used in coma and shock. But aspirin has some serious side effects like asthma, salicylism, peptic ulcer, platelet deaggregation, premature closure of PDA, intestinal blood loss, Reyes syndrome, idiosyncrasy, and tinnitus. So guys, this was all about aspirin discovery. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you like it and if you did, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel.